how you doing, man? Long time hey, no see. Hey, hey, it's hey, safe hey, to hey, say hey, Alex Ashagian hey, is a bit camera shy. Hey, Maybe he got it from his dad, Farhad. Get away, guys. Get the f away. You might remember the last time we saw Alex. That's Alex right there. That's when he was hiding from Fox 11's cameras when we stopped by his clothing store to question him. It was after a months long Fox 11 investigation revealed old school on Fairfax was actively selling counterfeit brand name merchandise to unsuspecting customers. I spent $500 on this jacket and it turned out to be fake. And the store security made sure we couldn't get to him. Tell, tell me why me you guys are being accused of you selling fake merchandise. Why you are you guys ripping no people solution. off? It means nothing with You're no solution. You're being accused of it's ripping people off. Why? We're trying to give, give you guys a, a chance to why, respond. Give me a solution, my white brother. Oh, you made you better watch your f mouth. Give me that. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, don't. Things got physical the second time we stopped by, and law enforcement told us they were closing in. We will go after them until they're, they're stopped or they're in jail. Yo, journalism degree? Come on, bro. You at the bottom of the totem pole right now. You probably gonna get 30 seconds for this. Five minutes and 30 seconds to be exact. The story got over 4 million views on our Fox 11 Facebook page, and after it aired, Old School's owners, Alex and Farhad Ashagian, were both arrested on felony counterfeiting charges. So, our investigative team paid them a little visit at one of their court hearings. Alex, can we talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah. Can we speak to you a minute, for a minute, Alex? Alex's dad, Farhad Ashagian, wasn't happy that Fox 11 was there. Get the Away. What, who are you, sir? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you guys. Both father and son continuously ran away or turned away from our cameras, not wanting to answer any questions. Give me that! Hey, guys! And remember this confrontation? It turns out the guy who went after our producer is a popular live streamer that goes by the name Hampton Brandon. He's most famous for this YouTube video of him running from a confrontation in Hollywood and then getting hit by a car. It's unclear what his connection is to old school or its security guards, but we do know this. Despite the arrests of its owners, old school is still up and running and people continue to shop there. But take it from old school's former customers. You may want to rethink giving that store your business. I will never shop there again, and if you ever walk by, don't go there. And as for Ashagian and his dad, they can run from Fox 11. Alex, any comment? Why are you still selling fake goods, Alex? But what they can't run from is the law. And both Alex and Farhan Ashagian have pleaded not guilty to their felony counterfeiting charges. Their cases are ongoing. If they end up being convicted of the crimes, they will each face up to three years behind bars each. Okay, wait. They're still selling fakes? So After all this, they're still selling fakes? We don't know if they're still selling fakes. We know the store is still open, which we have no idea how. They've been raided twice by two different agencies, L.A. County Sheriff's and LAPD. Um, it, it, we don't know why they're still open. Our, our best guess is because they haven't been convicted yet. Um, you know, they don't even have a sign on their business. They don't give out any receipts. We've openly caught them selling, for instance, the Amiri jeans. They're not cool. allowed to be selling those. The company told them, they, they agreed to in a, a settlement in court with the company that they wouldn't sell the jeans. And when we did the undercover story, we found them selling it again. So we don't know how they're still open. We know that a lot of tourists go in there. It's a very popular area on Fairfax. So maybe a lot of people aren't aware of what's going on. But um, your guys' guess is as good as ours of, of how they're still able to be in business right now. And, and quickly, you're talking big dollar items here. Oh, yeah. So, so for instance, the Amiri jeans, the ones they were counterfeiting, those go for well over $1,000 retail. I think right. like twelve or 1300 they were selling them for, I don't know, like four or five hundred a pop, something like that. So yeah. you can see why some of the customers think they're getting a good deal. But what's the saying? If it sounds too good to be true, the saying is Bill Malugin is shaking his worst nightmare. It is. <laughs> Bill, well, and we'll uh, thank you, thank and we'll you, keep Bill. everybody posted on uh, how it all plays out. All right, all right, thanks.